Thank you so much for clicking on my channel. I wanted to film for you guys a client tutorial. This is a look that I've been doing on a lot of my clients lately. It's really versatile for switching in all kinds of different colors and it works for a lot of eye shapes as well. So it's a half cut crease look. It looks really glam and really nice. So the first thing that I did was I primed her eyelids with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and then I set it with a bone colored eyeshadow from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. As far as the eyeshadows that I'm using for the actual look, I'm using all Makeup Geek single eyeshadows and I am using mostly Zoeva eyeshadow brushes. So the first color that I'm grabbing from my Z palette here is the color Peach Smoothie. It's a nice matte color and it's perfect for transitions. And the brush that I'm using for the crease is the Zoeva Luxe Crease Brush. It is number 228. And it's just a nice big fluffy blending brush to really diffuse and blend out that crease color. For the second color, I'm actually mixing together Creme Brulee in Frappe. And I'm just using it on that same brush. And I'm pretty much putting it in the exact same place that I put Peach Smoothie, which is the very outer third of the eyelid, but also into the crease as well. And making sure that I blend as I go so everything is really, really seamless. I'm now switching over to the Zoeva Luxe Petite Crease Brush. This is number 231. And I'm taking the color Coco Bear and just putting this on the very outer third of the eyelid. I like to use a lot of colors when I'm doing a more glam eye look. I just feel like the more colors you use, the more depth and dimension you get to your eye look. And then quickly switching back to that 228 crease brush to blend out all of the edges of that shadow. I like to blend kind of between every step that I do. And now I'm grabbing one of my favorite brushes from Zoeva. This is their 224 Luxe Defined crease brush and I'm taking the color Cherry Cola by Makeup Geek and keeping this close to the lash line but I will also be blending it up to the outer third of the eyelid as well. And again going back to that 228 brush to blend everything out. Okay, this is the part of the eye look that really, really makes any shimmer that you put on the lid pop. I'm just taking a small, flat shader brush. This one is by the brand Me, but it doesn't have a name or anything on the brush. And I'm just using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer to kind of create a half cut crease. You could use other concealers if you want to, but I like the MAC Pro Longwear because it does dry down completely and I'm just taking this halfway across the lid and then I use my finger to blend out the edge of that concealer so that there's not a harsh line. And now I'm just taking another flat shader brush. This one is by BH Cosmetics. It's part of their rose gold brush set. It doesn't have a name. And I'm setting that concealer with the Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadow called Starry Eyed. And placing this foiled eyeshadow right on top of that wet concealer is going to really give it that metallic sheen. And then I'm grabbing that 231 brush again and just blending out the very edge of that concealer. I jumped off camera to put her winged eyeliner on and also her lashes. I just used the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Blackest Black. And the lashes are from a discontinued line from Juvia's Place, so they're no longer available, unfortunately. I primed her skin by using the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray and then using my Benefit Matte Rescue Primer before going in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I used the color 305 on her, which pulled a little warm, so later I do kind of bronze up her neck a little bit. And for concealer, I used the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Sand, and I'm blending all of the liquid products on her face using my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, as usual. It's a really high quality alternative to the Beauty Blender at a much more affordable price. Using that same damp sponge, I'm going to be setting her entire face using the RCMA No Color Powder. It was a very, very hot day and she was going to prom and she didn't want to sweat all of her makeup off, so I did set her entire face. 
On her lower lash line, I'm using the Zoeva Luxe Pencil Brush, which is number 230, and I'm just grabbing Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek again and smudging out her lower lash line. And now I'm just coating her lower lashes with some waterproof mascara. Once the glue from the eyelashes has had a little bit of time to dry, I like to go over the band a little bit with some liquid eyeliner just to make sure that as the glue was drying it didn't pull any folds of the eyelids in any weird ways and cause the eyeliner to be uneven. That does sometimes happen, so I like to touch it up after the glue dries. And here I'm just using the NYX, I think it's called the Razor Sharp Eyeliner, and this is just a silver color. We wanted to do something a little extra for this look, so I'm just going right on the edge of the winged eyeliner that we've already done, just for a little pop of something extra and something fun. I'm now contouring her face using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette, and I just mixed the three contour shades together from that palette. And this brush, I believe, is a Studio Pro brush. The name has rubbed off, but I got it from Meyer, and it might be available at Walmart as well, I'm thinking. And I'm just sculpting her cheekbones, the sides of her forehead, her jawline, and bringing it down her neck as well, just to warm up that area. I also like to contour all of my clients' noses. I just think that it adds a really beautiful dimension and structure to their face. So I just use that same angled brush from Studio Pro. I just kind of pinch it and go along the sides of their nose. And for highlighter today, I'm using my Mary Luminizer by The Balm on a Real Techniques fan brush. And I didn't want to go really heavy on the highlighter because it was super hot out and we figured that she would kind of have a natural glow from sweating, so we kept the highlighter pretty subtle. On the inner corner though, I did want there to be a pop of highlight, so I grabbed my Tarte Skin Twinkle Volume 2 lighting palette to add a lot of glam to that inner corner. On a Morphe M509 brush, I am using the BH Cosmetics Nude Blush Palette. The individual blushes don't have names, unfortunately. And for brows, I'm also using a BH Cosmetics product. It's their Ultimate Brow Palette. It's a really versatile palette. It has a lot of different colors. It has pomades and powders, so it's perfect for my kit. And I'm using the Anastasia Number no. 7 brush, and I'm just giving her arch a little bit more shape, and then when I get to the front of the brow, I'm just feathering in some hair-like strokes. She obviously already has very full and beautiful brows, so I didn't have to do much to them whatsoever. For lips, she wanted something very subtle and close to her natural lip color, so I'm just using the Jordana Rock and Rose Lip Liner, and I'm placing that all over her lips. She also wanted some gloss, so I topped that off with just a clear gloss. I think this one is my Lip Sense Glossy Gloss. And finishing everything off with my Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I love it. It's probably one of my favorite looks to date. If you like seeing these client tutorials, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I love you all so much, and as always, I hope you have a fantastic day.